Hello everyone, my name is Eliote and welcome back to Bug Fables. Last time we got started exploring the honey factory after it was shut down from random intruders so code 32 was enacted. And so, we are back now in the honey factory. We have to explore to find three different parties, I suppose, Gen Eri, Mal B, Overseer, and I guess four parties, uh, well, Wasps and Moth Mathiva. And our main plan is to get forward first, but I should have checked what the door is over here. Seems it's some kind of scanner, and we don't have the required scan card for it. And it looks like we need three of those with all three buttons up there. So let's head on and start exploring. I'm guessing this geyser gets risen up from cranking it. Yep. And oh, whoa, that was brutal. And defense up, thank you. Desperately need it to protect. Yeah, I protect leaf. And wow, actually, it might be a good idea to keep Kabu in the back just to have taunt ready. And not to worry for defense. But yeah, I want to show off the visor attack of the B boops because I didn't get to last time. And you saw how deadly it was when I did get attacked from it in the field. So let's see what it actually does. Whoa, three damage. Actually, I regret choosing to attack. Whoa, I mean, I regret uh, using Kaboo as the bait. So let's just take out this Bibu first. And I would rather keep you in that form than the swooping one, because that actually kind of destroys you. I wasn't expecting that. Do one damage with each other person. Wow, that does even more damage than I thought it was. Well, at least... At least the favorite one's turned on. This is a really bad start. Let's take out the security turn at least. And maybe this takes out the B-Boop because we have one charge up and it does. Wow, that was unnecessarily hard. I see now that perhaps I'm actually gonna... I'll actually take this and throw out the fried egg just so I can use the sweet... The crunchy leaf first. Crunchy leaf, sweet leaf, what? And fried egg. And now that I see it, I probably don't have too much of a use for the spiky bod right now. So... Mm, what to do, actually? Honestly, having HP plus is a good idea, always. Just a good replacement for any kind of badge you want to remove, but you don't have a good enough badge to replace it with. HP up and TP up, if I ever get one of those badges, are always a good substitute. Sorry, V and Kaboo for dropping you out. But let's first head up over here. Training grounds notice. Remember that the doors only stay open for a while, so crank it up and run for it. Which doors? I crank this one. And... This door is unaffected. Oh, okay, so it is affected. Press this and walk through. We hit the switch and it turns on this door. So we have access to this side as well. And I guess it wants us to also crank this one. And it'll probably open a door at the very end. Let's just try to avoid the bee boop and... Ah, okay. So it forces us to switch to leaf afterwards, so we can't just rely on holding down on the door. Thanks game, for making me think more. And let's run. Running, 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 running. And switch over to leaf. Bit too late. Let me try that one more time. A lot more efficiently or smarter. Let me be smarter about this. Yeah, that's what I mean. And after it turns yellow, run through, run through, run through, and then switch to leaf and hold this down. And we're protected from the enemies, but I'm just worried. Yep, we got over here just fine. I guess I didn't have to worry too much. You found a factory pass. This keycard can open doors on Honey Factory. All right. 
I just realized they want us to run fast. I forgot Kabu got the dash ability. This makes it much easier, but I. Alright, Ibik. What? What was that? What was that? No way! That was such a long shot! Oh my god, what am I supposed to do now? Okay, okay. I'm willing to just use all my TP to take these guys down. Because there is Venus at the end of this, or back at the start. I cannot believe that shit just happened to me. I feel robbed. Oh my god, no way that just happened. Please don't attack Kaboo. Anyone but Kaboo. One, two, three, four. That was unfair. That should not have happened. Fine. Let's just take them out. Oh my god. Alright, maybe attack Kaboo. Oh! And a timed attack. Switch. Uh, maybe I don't have to switch the positions. I think I could just heavy strike out. Good use of 6 CP this fight. But my god, that should not have happened. You know what? I. That's the one I just eliminated, right? Free country leaf? This was a bad idea. Yeah. Alright. I think from here, I could just dash through with Kaboo. I just barely made it. This factor is annoying me. Alright. I thought it was ready. Head out, head out, head out. And. I'm done with this area. I don't want to visit this place again. At least not here. I got everything here, right? Yep. That was horrible. That was horrible. Oh my god. Please. Ah, there's a reason why I want to be here. What was that reason? Not to get shot. I couldn't think enough to get blocked. Oh, okay. Kaboo is down. Kaboo, please fall down. Oh my god. I had a reason to come here. Down, down, left, up, left, X. That was a right. It's okay. It's fine. There's a reason this platform is here. And there's a reason I want to visit to find the shell ointment. Four and five beals love this ointment. Gives status immunity and defense for one turn. Removes extra turns. But, ooh, now I have to get rid of something. Why have I not been getting rid of the mistake? Oh, let me get away from that. And try to catch this platform before it goes. Okay, I guess I'll have to wait. Patiently. Ignore that shooter. And I will try to... I I was I was very bold on my decisions. I do not think things too too clearly. But what I wanted to do was try to drop down in between because I need to get to Venus. And I need to get away from that guy. Please heal me up Venus. Thank you. All right. Looks like there's still one room above us and one room across from here, so since we're already down here, might as well just cross. And there's Jen and Ari. These honey, they look, yep, they can be frozen. But now we have to wait for this one. And we are getting a bit higher and higher. Good thing we heal because it looks like we have to protect them. As per usual. Eek! Team Snake Mouth! H help, please! Oh, not even small banter. Just help. And this is this is easy. They're flying, but oh, they're ants. Well, you guys can throw your sticks, right? I mean, V throws her boomerang. I mean, it may not come back, but at least you'll do some damage. At least you'll do some damage. And I think these do have resistances against freeze. But there's- Oh god. They are- They aren't too high attacking, actually. I thought it'd be harder to fight these. But let's try to freeze these. And... Got it. Uh... Yeah, why not Tornado Toss? One, two, three. The t Tornado Toss is one of the hardest timing moves for me, honestly. But it's incredibly worth it because... 
for the damage output or the potential board damage output, it's incredible. Especially for those with low defense or no defense. Well, actually, if you have one defense, it blocks one damage. And each hit does one damage. Whew. We owe you one. Again. We may have to start charging him. Nonsense, V. What did you do to get rushed by B boops? Oh, yeah. We were, like, trying to switch out. And... Alright, guess the platforms just move back and forth. I was gonna stay here controlling it while Aerie crossed it, but then they went crazy. This place is too dangerous. You shouldn't split up. You should return to a safe place. We will take care of this. W wait we can help. Seriously. We can stay here and press the switch, right? Then all of you can cross. That's a fantastic idea. We're impressed. It'll settle our debt with V too. She was just kidding. Do not worry. Right, kidding. But will you be okay? What if you get ambushed again? Eh, doesn't seem to be anything dangerous left around. Trust us, okay? Just go get moving on. Press minus to give us a holler and we'll press the switch. Huh. Switching up. Switching up. Yep. Just press the... If only I could land it first. We can hold our shield as... Oh, I guess we can't hold our shield as we're telling them to switch it up. So let's, oh god, let's just hold it first and tell them to switch it up now. What is the point? What is the point of some of these platforms? Yeah, but if we just stand on one of them, we could get past pretty fast. But now to figure out where to go, I think here? No, yes. Oh, I guess we could just use any platform. And then this one came from the furthest area. And then we hop over, switch over again. Ah, uh, ah, uh, bubble, bubble. Safety bubble. Personal space bubble. And the factory pass. Thanks. Hit the switch, and... Jade and Aerie already lost their usefulness. I mean, it is a quick room. It's more so... Neat than fun. Or, neat than challenging, because... Where is the challenge in this, honestly? You're just selling the switch, and we're hopping in between. We are just timing our shields, but... Afterwards, what do you guys have to say? Uh, never mind. I guess I won't talk to you guys. Let's cross over. Knock. And let's ho head over to this side. Because I think they're identical. Yep, in functionality. And I am back. What seems to be seconds for you was actually uh three days for me i had something to do but let's just head on to the third room and get the final key card i believe that's what they are called this room all the way over here we have to wait for electrical to stop and jump through and what's over here is there anything behind here i feel like there is nope just an awkward hiding spot with nothing to hide Seems like we have to freeze something. Two things to freeze. One. Two. And both are frozen. Just get them out of the way before they hurt us. Denki Mushi. I realized when I... When I was editing over... I think it was the 17th? Either the 17th or the 18th. The 18th one. The one I just did. Um... It sounded horrible, so I am so sorry about that. Uh, but I need to learn how to space my face away from my mic and a new enemy. This is actually out of nowhere. Well, not out of nowhere, but unexpected. Uh, unexpected. This is the Obama honey. One, two, three. Let's have V spy. She's the expert on honey, being a worker from the factory. Ah, the Obama honey. They mix up too much honey. We're in big trouble. We've got to take it down or freeze it before it explodes. Yes, and freeze it we shall. With, let's just start with frigid coffin because they are weak to freeze, but also poison and sleep. But we don't really have much to use as a freezing agent. No, as a sleeping agent. Um, what do I want to do? I wanted to actually taunt so I could get all the damage away from V and Leaf. So let's get a kaboo. 
Ooh, I missed. But at least I have extra defense. That was actually a really poor choice by me. So let's actually try... Let's, let's try freezing the Obama Honey again. Because, as you've noticed now, there are a lot more enemies with more resistances. And let's actually just take out the Obama Honey first. Yeah, almost every enemy now has at least some resistance to status effect. It's not completely 0% resistance now. Like about 50 and 60% numbers are weird. But they are a good thing to remember because you can't always rely on the statuses you inflict now. Even though I have status booster with Leaf. Weird switch sound made. Probably because there's two ice blocks on one area. But I do remember that there's something hidden inside this room. I just don't know what it is. But I'll, I'll find out in just a bit. Let's head over. And we can't really get to there. What can we do here then? Oh, I think I see what we have to do. Oh, wow. This is a lot of... A lot of droplets. I guess... They just respawn whenever they drop down. What? Froze. Oh, the button down there locks this door. All right. And I guess there's nothing else in this room. Unless there's something behind here, if there were even space. Maybe up this conveyor. Oh, I guess not. I have to take this down. Yes. Or do we need books which is to move the conveyor belt? The conveyor belt. What is that? The lift? Not an elevator. I'll call it a lift, yeah. It is. And on the right side, is there anything here? Oh. Maybe. What if I throw a at it? Nothing. I feel like there's something up there. And hop. A crystal berry, there was! Wow, how would anyone have known to do that? How? How at all? Yeah, you you would not be able to know. I remember that vaguely because I remember how painful it was looking for everything. Including that one right there. And alright. Uh oh, I guess if we attack this Denki Muki. Is that the name? Den Muki. If we attack this Den Muki, we would find the Obama Honey faster. And finally a good freeze. Um, yeah, since, since Venus is right here, I can use up all my TP this turn. Two, three. Wow, four hits. You can see how much better it is when you combo ice with Leaf or Kaboo, especially with the extra damage or just the additional attack. Ah, or just the multi-hit nature of Tornado Toss. Like, it works great. And great. Two damage and probably won't be able to take it out unless I used oh it's fine I'll take you out in the next turn and yeah I'm really glad Venus is right here take you out 13 exploration points and it's just V no worries and <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Since we did drop all the way from up there, it makes sense that they were still up there. I thought... <laughs> I thought it was just me now. Only one member of, of Snake Mouth. And so, now that we have all three factory passes, one, two, and the final one. What even is behind here? Behind here is... a lift. And what else? Away! Away with you! Malby, hang in there! We'll keep you safe. V? What are you doing here? Talk later. We're getting rid of these pests. Three Obama honeys. Look mildly menacing. And I think I think this is a good place to show off the combo of Ice Fall and Dash Through with Leaf and Kaboo. If I froze 
more of them. Uh, yeah, let's all do it. And mash, 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 mash. Five damage, awesome. It does work wonders. I'll at least try to take out one with one damage. And block, this is dangerous, yes. And here's an attack when they aren't underground. And yes, a terrifying move. They have the ability to self-destruct, but they have they have to use it one turn to prep themselves as a bomb. And thank God it's just one health left. Because now they're not taken out. So let's just have Kabu take it out before we absolutely get obliterated. Whoa, explosive indeed. And let's have Leaf take out the one in the middle, or rightmost now since we just killed your friend. Block, and I failed to time it well. So, not too hard anymore. Now, just by your lonesome. Let's take you out with ice. Nice. Wow, I forgot that they can turn into a bomb. Watch it, you almost splattered that honey on me. Uh, I don't even get a thank you? You don't deserve it, V. We, um, are glad to see you're okay. V, who is this? This is Malby, the maintenance chief. That I am. Glad you still remember that. Who are those two with you? V's exploration team. At your service. So, you did go and build up a team instead of doing your shift here, didn't ya? Anything is better than here. But you never saw it coming, either. I didn't. The V from back then wouldn't have managed. Hey! Guess something changed, though. It seems that I owe you in the end, so thanks. Who knows what could have happened. You're... welcome? Uh, I'm glad we could be of help. By the way, Miss Malby, we're looking for the Overseer. Would you be able to help us? Oh, her? She gotta be trapped in the storage. With the security in place, the vent shut down, Honey's heating up, and those Obama honeys are popping up. She won't last long by herself. What do we do? The storage is locked. That's because the pump shut down. I was about to fix it when I got jumped. Can you fix it now? Yep, hang on tight for a few minutes. And? Is it done? Yep, good as new. Processing back to full power. Storage should be open too. Thank you. Now we just got to walk back. Oh, you're gonna like this, Kaboo. With the machines working again, you can catch the tram back. Will it bring us back to the entrance? Yeah, saves a lot of time. And you get to see the whole factory from a whole new angle. That is fantastic. What We do get to tour around after all. Thanks, Malby. We're gonna do our mission and stuff. Hm. V, if you don't think you're cut for the exploration stuff, I'll actually rehire you here. Could always use more folk pushing the boxes. Never. Let's go, team. I don't want to be a factory worker either. Well, honestly, I wouldn't mind. I do have sometimes have the fixation of just moving stuff, calculating. I I find enjoyment in the simple things. Well, yes, it's tedious and extraneous, but I don't mind. But don't forget my offer, V. I can always use more help. Right. See you later. And let's see what we have about we have to say about this area. The pub is fascinating piece of technology. It makes the Golden Settlement look way behind the times. I don't know, it just looks weird and ugly to me. What's its appearance got to do with anything? I mean, we are by the tree. There is a crane above us. And this looks like a pencil sharpener. Just rotating over and over again to process honey. But, either way, let's catch the train back. Beep beep, train system status, online, destination, processing entrance. Board tram. And let's see what this nice view has to offer for us. I say this sarcastically because we don't actually get to see anything. So the tracks we've been seeing in the background don't mean anything. But now that this generator is fixed, or processing unit is fixed, let's see what this area has to offer. This way to the honey storage, where the supposed overseer is gonna be. But Mathiva and the wasp guy enter the storage just before the lockdown. Maybe they had something to do with it? Maybe they do. But, for now, I think this is a good time to end it off. 
So, next time, we'll head over into the honey storage and try to find the Overseer and possibly Mathiva and the Wasp. See you guys next time.